13th Colony was kind enough to send me a sample of the 2024 Double Oak. Is it any good? Let's find out. What is going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker, but he has a brand new video. Today, we're going to be diving into 13th Colony's 2024 release of their Double Oak Bourbon. Last year's was absolutely phenomenal, and I can't wait to get into this year's sample. Thank you again to 13th Colony for sending this sample my way to bring you guys a review of this whiskey. Now, inside this box, we will find our little two-ounce sample. It's got some fun black and gold, little ribbon inside there and then all the information we need for this bourbon is on this little press release label right here but before we get into this I want you guys to smash that like button leave a comment down below on if you've had any 13th colony products have you had the double oak and what your thoughts on that bottle specifically are. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. We're doing a huge giveaway once that happens. It's literally right around the corner and I think probably 85% of you are not subscribed, so click that subscribe button. It's free. Helps the channel out like you wouldn't believe. Check the link out down below for the Patreon. Fun things happening. Barrel picks coming out within the next couple of weeks. It's getting dumped this week, I believe, so make sure you guys check that out. But without further ado, let's get into this beautiful bottle of bourbon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, while this sits here and breathes, let's go over some of the information we have on this bourbon here. So, 13th Colony Double Oak Bourbon is bottled at cast strength and is uniquely matured in separate charred oak barrels to extract additional soft, sweet oak characters. Finished with toasted maple wood, this bourbon packs a punch at 133.7 proof, but is luxuriously smooth on the palate. This is 13th Colony in its purest form. 133.74 proof, uh, barrels aged between 8 and 10 years old. There are 3,570 bottles produced. Retail allocation are in Arkansas, Colorado, Connecticut, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Missouri, Tennessee, and Texas. And online allocations are on Sealbox and Bourbon Outfitters. So make sure you guys, once this gets released, you guys check out those websites, get to those states that you're in, check your stores. And uh, if you are looking for this bottle, I... Uh, Think you should probably get your hands on it if uh, you, you like 13 Colony. But I've had enough letting this sit here. I want to get into the nose on this bad boy and uh, let's see what this thing smells like. Off the bat, the first thing I got was this like little bit of a one of those really really dark Luxardo cherries. It wasn't like um, a sweet cherry or like a maraschino cherry. It had that 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 like. Um, just the the thick viscous um uh, syrup that it's in there's a little bit of a pancake note in this too this nose is wonderful and you don't get that 133 proof on the nose like i can dig my nose in this glass so far and it's not burning and singeing my nose hairs this is going to be the first sip of the day as well so at 133 proof I i'm expecting this to blow me all out of the water but they're saying it's not going to do that but let's find some more fun things in this nose i do get that maple quality but it's very soft. It's very subtle. It's not like it's a maple punch to the face. It's it, You can find it. It's there. But like I said, it's not the most predominant thing. And that's what I like to see when something has like a maple uh, quality to it. It's not the most predominant note. But it's there. You can find it. And it's subtle. And this is what it this is. This has that. It definitely has a, a, a smoky quality to it as well. It can't fire in a way. But it's sweet. It's almost like you have, um, like you can smell the roasting marshmallow with that lingering fire smoke coming in behind it. Like you're, you're toasting that marshmallow. You're getting that that waft of the the sweet caramelized sugar off of there, followed by that smoke. And then there's a little bit of an orange zest in here, which I really find interesting. This is really really lovely on the nose. I'm starting to get a little bit of the proof on the nose after I, I dig in there a little bit. It's very, very complex. It has a lot going on for it. Let's get into the palette and see what this thing's all about. But wait, before we get into the palette, we have to have a word from today's sponsor. Are you like me and always looking for a bottle of Stag Jr.? Well, look no further than Give270.org. My buddies at Give270 are doing Whiskey Wednesdays, and it is going Stag Madness right now. 
With your purchase of a $5 ticket, you get the opportunity to open up some lockers. And inside those lockers, you might be able to get a bottle of Stag Jr. Now, also inside some of these lockers, you have the ability to also get some very, very highly allocated bottles of bourbon, such as George T. Stag and some other BTEC offerings. Now, with your $5 ticket, you're not just getting the opportunity to get one of these bottles. You're also helping out some amazing causes and foundations that Give270 partners up with. So with that said, if you do get a winning locker, you then get entered into the grand prize. This grand prize gets you the opportunity to get the entire stag lineup from batch one to whatever batch we are at right now. And that right there is the cream of the crop, what everybody looks for to collect these stag juniors right here. So make sure you guys go check out give270.org. Link is down below. Spend $5 to possibly get some amazing bottles of bourbons, but that's not the only thing you're doing. You're helping out some amazing causes. And thank you again to Give270 for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into the palette and see what this thing's all about. Talk about viscous, thick, complex, lingering sweetness that just coats everything. It gets in between every single one of your, your teeth, in between your gums, under your tongue, makes you salivate like you wouldn't believe, and then just makes you want more. This is, <clears throat> if you take a toasted, oak board and you caramelize that and you bring out all the sugars on that and then you dump brown sugar on it and then you caramelize that you make a creme brulee on top of an oak board and it's just so darn sweet and viscous and the it's it's syrupy it's so thick it has a cinnamon quality to it. It's a drier cinnamon. It's not one that's sweet. And I think that's what kind of balances this out a little bit with those that really sweet oak, that almost molassesy brown sugar. What brings this into a nice balanced, enjoyable, um, trying to find other nuances in this is that drying effect that you get going into that finish with that cinnamon, the um, allspice. There's a little bit of star anise in this that just balances it out because it was so it was so sharp in that sweetness, but then on that initial sip, but then it just levels out and it's just it, it's nonstop, just so good because the balancing from that sweetness to the dry cinnamon and spiciness just makes it into a happy marriage and they found the beautiful balance in this and there's nothing wrong with this whatsoever at 133.74 proof you can drink this all day i don't recommend it at all but you could drink this all damn day it's chewy it is so chewy you can literally sit here and smack your lips and your tongue on the top of your mouth and find new uh smaller nuances in this because now off that second third sip i get a little bit more of that maple there's a little bit of a maple syrupy note in there but it's not a fake maple syrup it's true to the bone maple that's sweet but it's not overbearing sweet it's not like there's any added sugar or artificial sweeteners or flavors added to this it has that woody maple quality to it that is wonderful and it doesn't overpower this whatsoever now i have the 2023 release over here and i've got a little bit left in the bottle that 13th colony sent me and i want to see the comparison of these two Nope, I, I can't pour it through the paper. That would be a little bit difficult. So, um, here we go. Let's do a little bit of this. Let's see. We've got 2024 on the left, 2023 on the right. 2024's is a lot sweeter. 2023's is darker. I got a little bit more of like a raisiny note off of it. Raisins and instead of like a brown sugar, it's almost like a molasses, just molasses punch in that nose. And then not a lot of cinnamon, but more along the lines of like an anise. This is darker where this is, it's dark, the 2024, but there's a lot more complexity and sweet nuance behind it. 
and it almost has a little bit more of a brighter quality to it. Let's get into the, the palette of 2023 and see if it compares to 2024. And like I said, on the nose, it, can, it it very, very well transfers into the palette. This is darker. It's got a little bit more of a bitter oak note in there. Where this, the 2024, doesn't have that bitter oaky quality to it. This, you know, it's not a bad bitterness, right? There are good bitters and there are bad bitters. This almost has the, a note of like an Angostura bitter in a way where, you know, your tongue salivates, it gets dry, but it, it, it's not off-putting. The bitterness kind of balances everything out in a way. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit brighter, a little bit more... Um, inviting and sweet but oaky and and you know has that smoky quality to it but it, it doesn't have a bitter quality the 2024 is right up my alley and i think it's right up your alley as well man i enjoyed this 2024 um 13 colony the double oath release so so much this definitely is in contention for bourbon of the year um definitely holding on to this sample for the end of the year to put it in that um that ranking to see where it does fall. 2023s, I think, did pretty well. Can't quite remember. Um, but nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Good luck to everybody who can possibly get their hands on one of these because it is a stellar, stellar release. And thank you again to 13th Colony for sending this my way. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Until next time, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers. Cheers.